Hey guys, I am back. Um, I probably haven't made a video since, I believe, October was the last video I made. Um, basically, this video is going to be an update about everything. Um, I'm sorry for how long I've been away. It's just I've been dealing with like a lot of personal things and um, didn't really have time to make videos. Um, also, on top of that, my laptop I use, I have a Sony Vio and it's like six years old now. So for me to edit the video, that should probably take maybe 10 minutes max. It would probably take me like an hour or an hour and a half just to just edit something simple. So it's very, very slow. But um, you can tell this video is edited by the intro. And yes, I made a new intro. Um, I don't know. I felt like I needed to change or something. But I hope all of you guys are doing good. I know it's been a while. Um, as far as how often my videos will be, I never had a set schedule, so it's really, they're going to be whatever. Um, as far as the 1.30 goes, this is it. I think last time you saw it, I'm not too sure what exactly was inside of it, but I'm going to guess it was the Holy Rock um, piece with the two like, green plants on each side. Not too sure, but um, since then I was like switching around with like uh, decor in the tank and I wanted to have a Amazon looking theme. I added some driftwood and it looked pretty good, but then the water started to turn like a brownish color and that's why this tank still has like a tint to it. And then um, I did a water change and everything, tried to get rid of it, it's still there a little bit, but then I added in coral and some of the pieces you can tell fell over over there. And that one coral piece um, right here was actually up here. So it fell and um, before it fell it was like was laying there and then one of the bumblebees got stuck in it and that fish died so basically there is like 14 fish now um, they're eating fine acting normal they're healthy nothing's wrong um, as far as anything else goes that's pretty much it if you're wondering what that is um, I don't know I noticed on the tank and I tried to wipe it off with like a Clorox wipe you can see and it just like left like a smudge mark and didn't really remove it. So I have to get like some glass cleaner and just clean the outside. But um <laughs> my dog's tail's in the shot. Come here. There you go. Um as far as what this tank like will hold for the future, since you guys know it has a crack and everything, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. I want to because it's my first tank, first large tank. Um sorry, I'm trying to get the camera adjusted. Um, like I said, I want to keep it, but it's just turning into a hassle. You know, they say bigger tanks are easier to maintain. This one's been nothing but a pain in the ass, really. Um, and I don't really want to drain it and re-silicone the whole tank and just to have the possibility of it happening again. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it like this and just let it remain, or if I'm going to take it down and replace it with a 55 gallon but um, not too sure. Like, it's, everything's clear. The water's clear, everything's fine. Um, only problem is the yellowish tank that's bugging me. Because if you guys know, my tanks are always like crystal clear, white sand type of stuff. And now you can just see, it's just like a layer of disgustingness at the bottom. The coral looks like shit. I don't know, I'm just really just disgusted with this tank right now. Like, I didn't even want to make a video. But I know I haven't made a video in a few months now, and I wanted to at least say I'm still here. Um, I'm still going to make videos as often as I can. Um, that's pretty much it for the 130. I will show you guys the 55 gallon um, right now. Here is the 55 gallon. Um, there is some African cichlid fry in there. It was an uh, electric yellow female, and I have no idea what she bred with. Um, also, you can see the background, all of that residue and stuff on the wall, sorry. Um, I have no clue like, what caused it. Like, I do, but like, it was a filter, but as far as what caused it to do that to the wall, I have no idea. I have two um, Marine Land 350 filters on here, the bio wheels. And the top of the tank is, I don't know, or not top of the tank, sorry. Top of the um, the right bio wheel filter 
is kind of being weird, like, it's clean and everything, but, uh, one day I went to clean the tank and everything, and behind it, there was, like, a lot of residue, and it looked kind of like there was, like, mold or something, and I looked up basically how mold happens, I never had anything like that happen before, basically it's, like, moisture that can go into a wall, and I noticed when I tried to, like, clean it off the wall, the yellow looking stuff, um, the paint directly behind the filter was kind of peeling off. So I don't know how the hell that did anything, yet alone running down the wall. I don't know. But we're probably gonna um, move the tank out and get some um, kills paint. It's like a, a mold killer type of thing. Um, but yeah, that's that. If you guys were wondering, if you guys see me like zooming and you're like, what the hell's that? And why is there like a USPS box that's trying to stop the moisture on the wall? But I know it's disgusting, but we need to get that fixed. Um, but yeah, there's a, slim, a cylinder kiss down there. Cichlid, uh, electric yellow fry, all throughout the tank. I know that um, decoration has uh, algae on it, but I kind of, I don't know. With this tank, I kind of like the yellow tint it has because of driftwood. But the other one just looked like shit. <laughs> but um, over here, more driftwood, there is a turtle right, well there's two. There's one right here and one basking. Um, one's bigger than the other. I will try to get closer without him swimming away. You guys can kind of see him right now. Um, sorry if it's shaky, it's because my tripod just broke. Um, one of the legs on the hinges keeps uh, detaching and also the part where you hook the camera to just snapped. So I'm just having crappy luck. But um, yeah, nothing crazy. There he is right there. Um, he's just a simple red eared slider. There's two. There's this one which is Martin and the other one, which is Charlie. Uh, let me actually see if I can get a shot of it above the basking area. And here is the other turtle. Uh, he's really tiny. You can see. But, um, yeah. They both eat fine. They're all good. I'm going to end the video with um, some shocks of the 55 gallon fish in turtles close up and also the fish in the 130. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Again, sorry for the whole um, shakiness, tripod broke. Um, other than that, if you got any questions, anything, um, leave it in the comment section below. And I also redid the, um, the info section below. Anyway, I'm glad to be back, um, that's it. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks, I hope you guys have a great day.